Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going over how to convert and compare percents and fractions and decimals. Let's go. Now, when we're converting percents and fractions and decimals, you need to make them all the same. And in my opinion, the easiest way to do this is just to convert them all to decimals. First, if you have a fraction you want to make it a decimal, you're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. There's your decimal. If you have percent, you're going to jump two times to the front, and that's where your decimal goes. Get rid of that percent sign. So if I have a 97%, I'm going to cross out this percent sign and jump two spaces to the front. I now have 0.97. For my fraction, I'm going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So I'm going to take 7, divide it by 8, add your decimal, and extend. So let's add that 0. 8 goes into 70. How many times? Let's say 8 times, and that gives me 64. From there, 64, 65, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. So I'm going to have 6 remaining. Add another 0, bring that down. 8 goes into 60 seven times, that gives me 56. I'm gonna have four, add another zero, bring it down. Eight goes into 45 times, that's where we end. So now if I were to compare these, my 97% and seven over eight, I actually find that my 97% is still bigger than my 0.875. So convert them to the decimal, then you can actually compare. If you have Next, I'm going to do a word problem. So we're going to figure out which team had the most wins. Now, if you notice on the wins, they're all written differently. I have a percent, I have a fraction, and I have a decimal. In order to compare these, I have to make them all the same thing. All percents, all fractions, or all decimals. So I'm going to keep this 0.89. I'm going to convert this one. So 9 over 10, I can just divide 9 by 10. Or because the denominator is 10, this works for tens, one hundreds, one thousands. However many numbers are behind the decimal is however many zeros are on the denominator. This one has one zero, so that means my decimal would just move one spot right in front of it. So this is going to be 0.9. Now I'm going from percent, percent to decimal, I move two spots to the front. One, two, decimal there, so this one will end up being 0.95. So I have 0 0.95, 0 0.9, 0 0.89. Now, who had the most wins? 0.95 is going to be bigger than just 0.9. Very close, but Eagles win. All right, so it's your quick review on how to compare fractions, decimals, and percents. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.